fire crews are still trying to figure out what led to a deadly house fire in Cresswell last night. Thanks for joining us. I'm Jessica Debus. The blaze destroyed a home on the 81,000 block of Sears Road and also took a life. KEZI 9 News reporter Chinu Hur is live in the studio with details on our top story at 5. Chinu. Jessica, three of the four people living in the home were outside when crews arrived, an elderly couple and a two-and-a-half-year-old child. The fire chief says the fourth person, a 25-year-old woman, did not make it out alive. South Lane County Fire and Rescue crews say they rushed to a house fire in Cresswell just after 7.30 Saturday night. Probably close to a 1,500-square-foot structure, fully involved. When rescuers got to the scene, most of the occupants were outside. We had three... Uh, individuals out in front of the house uh, that were occupants and had uh, escaped on their own out of the house and they were out front. But not everyone escaped the burning home. Fire Chief Dean Creech says a 25-year-old female didn't make it out. At some point the fire was discovered in the house and um, it appears at least that uh, she made an attempt to notify the rest of the occupants they escaped. The three survivors, an elderly couple and a two-year-old child, were taken to a local hospital and then released. Creech says crews were at the home about 10 minutes after getting the call, but the flames got out of control unusually fast. To have fire th showing through the roof and through windows um, that early on is, is really unusual. It took them close to two hours to get the fire under control. Creech says it's tragic that only three of the four escaped because the occupants handled the situation well. The occupants also should make a point. Um, they did a really good job in that it appears that they um, took their portable phone with them um, and called. Investigators say the cause of the fire is still unknown and the identity of the 25-year-old woman has not yet been released. Live in the studio, Chinu Hurricane, KZI 9 News.